Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Laplace Transform Tuner. This is the last actual topic that we're going to cover in this course. Uh, it's going to be called piecewise defined functions or Laplace transforms of piecewise defined functions. We'll introduce it here. We'll do some problems in the next couple of sections to get you comfortable with it. But this is the actual last topic se uh, series that we have uh, here in this course. So what we need to first talk about is something called a unit step function uh, or piecewise defined function. You might think of, you know, in the real world, you know, let's talk about electric circuits, for instance. You might have a switch. Um, you know, you might think of a mechanical switch that you could turn on and off and turn the source on and off, pushing uh, electric current into the circuit. Of course, you could think of it that way. But you could also think of a transistor, which is like a switch as well, that can turn on and off very fast. That's what's going on inside of your computer, inside of your cell phone. You ever hear of on and off, you know, binary on, binary off? Basically, you have things switching on and off very, very fast. So you need to think about a step function when you turn one thing on, one thing off. And that's kind of a little bit of a segue into what we're talking about here, where we're going to be turning a function on, a function of time on, and a function of time off. Because in the real world, we're doing that a lot. We're turning things on, we're turning things off, we're turning another function on, turning another function off. And frequently, when you're solving problems, you might need to take a Laplace transform of one of these situations whenever the, the thing is turning on and off. And so that's what we're going to learn how to do in this section. So it's, it's a great um, topic, and it's really one of the reasons why Laplace transform is so useful. So we'll talk about the unit step function. It's a very, very, very simple concept to understand. I mean, everybody can understand what a unit step function is. Basically, if I have a graph here, Right? So this could be time. This over here could be voltage or whatever. It could be whatever. It doesn't really matter. It's some function of time. It could be measuring voltage, current. It could be measuring pressure in a system, uh, mechanical force. It could, be, it could be anything, really. But this is the characteristic of the system. This is time as time marches on. All right, so what's happening here is that the, the, um, uh, the function, let's say, that I'm trying to plot or that I'm trying to study, we're going to call it u sub a as a function of time, and we're going to write it piecewise, which means that it's a value of zero when t is less than a, and it has a value of one for t greater than or equal to a. So that's what, uh, notice we say u, that's a unit step function. u sub a means that time a, whatever time that is, the function turns on. So previously it was off, time a could be one second, two seconds, whatever arbitrary time you, you want to talk about, but at some time A, it turns on. So when we draw that, we say, hey, at some time A, this guy previously, I'll kind of color over it with blue, it was here, and then suddenly it jumps up here 